Everybody looks too happy. Something's gonna happen. Reason I asked you here today, she's a bright kid, your sister. The business, <laughs> my life insurance. I want to put her on a monthly stipend. But if I do only have a few months, I want to take care of all of this now. Wait a second. Which doctor does I agree? Feldman. He says I could hang on for years. Mm -hmm. How will I be remembered? A wonderful husband. A loving father. On the street, darling. Mm. Now, from what I know, you were well liked, John. Respected across the board. The only negative. Oh, what? What? Uh, when Carmine died and you took over, people felt you changed. Became uh, a little trigger happy, maybe? Trigger happy. Head. God forbid any of them would find themselves in that position. Thankless job. <laughs> Imitation's a form of flattery. You think that was flattering? It was okay. It was a tough prick that ball with. What about the girlfriend? Mm. Girlfriend? I don't know, you lost me, Colin. Sally Boy, the boss? He fucked the guy's fiance. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. The thing with Adriana? Oh ho ho. I told you it never fucking happened. Ro pointed it out to me, but if she saw it, that means other people did. It's a movie. It's fictional. Which ends with the boss's head split open by a meat cleaver. <laughs> now you're gonna make Tony think he wasn't even looking at her like that. That ball was pretty good, huh? See, now he's thinking. Look at Sil. <laughs> he's like, I'm not gonna say the wrong thing. Look at him. I know him too. I don't know his name, but your tax dollars at work. I've seen him in other stuff. Was he following you around? He was in Johnny Dangerously, that old movie with Michael Keaton. <laughs> Where you were just three months ago. You came into that meeting, you were so fucked up you could barely talk. Mm. And that woman friend was even worse. Mm-hmm. Bad influence. John, what the hell are you doing? What? You're smoking. Mm-hmm. So Daddy, you're on oxygen. What? I'm Busted. Just calm down, all right? Calm down, I don't fucking believe you. <sighs> Miracles do happen, John. Not to this family, they don't. You know, it's that kind of attitude that probably brought this on in the first place. <coughs> oh, he's gonna smoke another cigarette. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> she gonna leave. What the fuck just happened? was that? The fuck? That happened yeah, so fast! Shut the fuck up, man. This family of yours. Shill could've got hurt. Doc showed a lack of respect. Who was that? This fucking leadership void. Step up, Carmine. Get your hands around this thing. You know you got the support. Tony said you got an offer on the house. Oh, no, look at Christopher's yeah. baby! Ivana Trump. <laughs> so tiny. You know, I gotta be honest, I am very disappointed at what you did. What are you talking about? Your movie. Did the boss sleeping with the other guy's fiance? Oh. What? No. Carmela, I didn't even write it. Story by Christopher Moltisanti. Isn't that what it said up there on the screen? Yeah, but that's just for the Writers Guild health insurance. She's an Oriental, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Have you heard from Abe lately? Mm. No. Why would I hear from her? Would it be so surprising? She left me for some other guy. Is it any wonder? Her <gasps> poor mother is so upset she's practically delusional. She's convinced herself that Aid is dead. Her mother's an alky, you know that. Mm -hmm. You're my cousin and I love you, Carmela, but I don't like what you're inferring here. Either with the movie or with how I treated Adriana. Pissed Christopher off. Uh-oh. It's not good. I gotta concur with Rose. Oh. I appreciate everything you did, Lord. He's 
dying? It wasn't my idea. What are you fucking stupid now? He probably thinks I put it in there to embarrass him. Why did you put it in there? It was an idea. I don't know. Who knows where they fucking come from? <laughs> Isaac Newton invented gravity because some asshole hit him with an apple. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Uh oh. Chris, don't do it. Award, what's that? For writing themes of socially redeeming. Mm. Look out the window. You see a fucking Hollywood sign out there? Uh, Christopher always abusing this guy. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope we're going to see some money soon. Yeah. There's a writer you can never tell, you know. You come up with an idea, you don't know how the audience is going to respond. Well, that's a challenge, yeah. It is challenging sometimes. The boss, Sally Boy, for example. This whole persona, I stole that from Broderick Crawford and Born Yesterday. The black girl and the singer. That's Billy Halliday. Although, Judy's character in the movie is named Billy, too, so I can see why you're confused. i never seen it. Why would I be confused? <laughs> I'm Polly. Cabinet. Duh. Why is she Chrissy? Tell me you were for. Oh boy, what's Tony thinking? Does he believe it? Or is he like, you got your ass beat and you were forced to say this? And all I did for this fucking kid and he fucking hates me so much. I'm sure on some level he loves you too. Tony's crying. I think he fucking despises me. Mm. Pretty obvious. Wants to see me dead. Oh. Without invalidating your feelings, is it possible that on some level you're reading into all this? I know too much about the subconscious now. <laughs> what, Daddy? Is he hallucinating? Is he? I don't know. He could be. Oh, John. Is he dying? John. Oh. Hmm. John passed away late this morning. Mm. Oh, fuck, you're kidding me. Oh, my God. I only wish. Mm. He's a great guy, John. Sorry for your loss. I beat cancer, but I took him out. Ride the painted pony, let the spinner wheel glide. Damn, oh, no, Johnny's sister. gone. From now on, his ashes will be right here. He really misses his brother. Mm. Better nothing happen to his ashes. <laughs> I'm like, they better not have shown that for, for that. That cocksucking piece of shit, Tony Soprano's cousin. I can't even say his name. Murdered Billy. Sometimes I think it's in my DNA. My family took shit from the Mitigans the minute we got off the boat. Oh boy. Phil can't let it go. No more Butchie. No more of this. Uh-oh. What's that mean? Look at AJ looking all grown up. Oh. Everybody looks too happy. Something's gonna happen. Chris! Uh. all right you guys so that was my reaction to the sopranos season six episode 14 stage five episode was mostly about johnny johnny caught cancer and basically i guess he was fighting it getting treatment but nothing was working and he died he died you know towards the end of the episode we got the um, the the Cleaver premiere. <laughs> Christopher showed his movie to everybody. It seemed like everybody liked it, from what I could tell. I don't know what's going to happen with that, if he's going to produce more movies or what. He sure has no problem hitting that dude that's behind the filming. <laughs> Fucking Chris, always abusing that guy. Uh, what else? Phil, Phil can't let it go about what happened to his brother. And I don't get it because... 
I get him being pissed because he lost his brother, but why can't he let it go? I mean, Tony did kill his cousin in re in retaliation of that, so if like that wasn't good enough, he still wants Tony's ass. Phil and Tony are going to come to a head. I know it. I know it. And then that ending with the music and Chris and Tony looking at each other. Oh, <laughs> what's going to happen? Something bad is going to happen. I know it. I feel it. But yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Sopranos Season 6, Episode 14, Stage 5. Bye, guys.